Hi, are you somebody who is constantly meeting deadlines and who is overwhelmed by the amount of work you do, but are not tasting the career success that you desire? In fact, you've started to realize that you're not able to put time into career building activities like uh, networking or creating a personal development plan and having a conversation with your manager about your promotion. Then you, my friend, are definitely doing a disservice to your career and to your potential. And in today's video, I'm going to give you three Ds that will help you bust some time management issues and skyrocket your career because you finally will be able to spend time on priorities that will build your career and peace of mind. Hi there, I'm Mira Ramani. I'm a leadership and executive coach with two decades of experience in the leadership space with companies such as Procter & Gamble and Amazon across the world. And now I coach leaders go up the level in their leadership success and peace of mind. Now, let's move on to our topic of the day, the three Ds that are preventing you from using your time well and preventing you from having the spectacular career success that you desire. What are these three Ds? First D is distractions. Second is delusions. And third are demands. First are distractions. Distractions, as you know, are social media, Netflix, uh, endless coffee chats with colleagues, etc., which are distracting you from spending time on priorities in terms of your project, career success, peace of mind, lifestyle, etc. So endless scrolling on social media uh, keeps you from using time productively on creating a network or creating your personal development plan or even thinking where you want to take your career. So you know that, right? But we are still, a lot of us are still addicted to social media because these companies, including Netflix, are pouring a ton of money into understanding human psychology, consumer buying patterns, and they have made it addictive for us to be endlessly stuck to our screens and keep scrolling or endlessly binge watch Netflix. Now, there's nothing wrong with using social media and Netflix, but there is a balance to be brought in where you get the pleasure, where you get the relaxation, but you also are then able to progress on your personal and professional goals. So it is for us to take a step back and say, hmm, is this contributing to my career success or not? Relaxation does. But can I reduce Netflix consumption from four hours a week to two, two hours or three and a half hours and use that remaining time to uh, perfect my CV or talk to a recruiter or work on my personal development plan at work? So that's how I would encourage you to deal with distractions. The second is delusions. We hold certain delusions about what is important. I'll give you an example from earlier on in my career. I would endlessly, uh, you know, endlessly obsess over the look and feel of a PPT, right? The fonts I use, the color I use, rather than the content in there. But as you know, the priority is the content, the content, the data, the story that you want to tell so you can influence your audience. So the more I was delusioned about the look and feel, the less I was making my presentation and my communication effective. So that's an example of delusion. And you can think back and see where else are you, where are you facing delusions in terms of time management? Another example of uh, delusion is, for example, somebody wants, wants to launch a new product and they endlessly obsess over the perfect website that the website has to have 10 pages, all of them looking alike, all of them this, that, brand, color, style, font, etc. But basically, to get started, the minimum viable step that you need to take is just probably one or two pages, right? A very simple and elegant design that just does the work. It doesn't need to be all fancy and, uh, you know, up there, etc. So that is another example of a delusion. So you can reflect back on what delusions you may be holding regarding what is important. And then once you shave that off and simplify those, you can see that you gain back more time to use on things that matter. The third are demands. Demands on your time, for example, from your family, including children, from your manager, from your co-workers, from your team members, etc., etc. A lot of times when we look at those demands, we can see that, hey, some of those demands don't need to be met by me. I don't need to take that action. I can actually delegate it to another team member or to my husband or partner or wife, right? Uh, which saves you a lot of time as well. So you can think of which are the ones that I absolutely must do and which are the ones I could delegate or even delete because some things may have fall, fallen out in terms of priority. So these are the three Ds, delusions, distractions and demands. Now, if you 
can take a step back at these three days in your life and see how you can optimize your time, you will be able to then put a lot of time into your career development, into your own personal time, quality time with family, etc, etc. And I have one last gift for you. The five steps to create an impactful network, even if you are an introvert. The link is in the comments. Subscribe to this channel to have weekly updates on career tips that will help you skyrocket your career.